Morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So today, we will be mounting the blower beneath the cover for the power supply compartment for the 6 meter 3CX 6000 amplifier. So we got an EBM PAPS blower, exceeds the CFM and pressure specs for the 3CX 3000A7 tube for its rated inno dissipation. So here's the stock cover that the cabinet came with. It's too thin really to mount it, you know. So I went ahead and bought some material online. This is uh, I think eighth inch thick. So I'm gonna first take the piece that came with the cabinet and I'll overlay it and clamp them together and use it as a guide to drill all the holes for the mounting uh, for all the screws and then I will mark top and bottom and hold the blower up to it and mark it and then cut the whole, you know, drill the four melting holes and cut the hole for the flange outlet here. Then I'll take the cover off the bottom of the RF deck and attach it, make sure it's lined up perfect, um, attach it with clamps and then mark that with a pencil and then cut that out with my jigsaw. So I'm going to get to work on all of this and I will See you guys in a bit. See you soon. Okay, so I have the blower mounted to the aluminum stock here. I'll show you what I did. I cut it out, it's marked. This is the top, front, back. I have the inlet side for the blower over here. Make sure that I made sure I had uh, adequate clearance between the blower and the components in the inside of the power supply cabinet. So I used Pan head screws, quarter inch washer, split washer nut, put some silicone between the flange of the blower and the aluminum, which is 6061T6. I'll put a connection on here so you can connect it and disconnect it to remove the cover. I have to install a uh, like a port for the pressure interlock. It'll basically you know, fix to fix to this and It'll protrude into the bottom of the RF deck. But I didn't use countersunk, the countersunk type, because there's, uh, I'm using a neoprene type gasket material, and it, it's thicker than the heads of the screws, so I can just cut it out, plus it's going to overlap. I'll show you what I did. So, I have the, this is the bottom cover for the RF deck. I made sure it was perfectly square, and then I traced it. I'll cut a hole there, and like I said, I'll have the gasket material between the two, and I'm going to have a right angle piece of aluminum affixed to the side of the RF deck, one on each side, and I'll have a stud coming up on each side, so when he places the RF deck down, it'll line up perfectly, and you can put a nut on each side, so it'll hold it in place, nice and snug, and uh, you know, hold it down also, and no air will end up escaping. So, this blower... Like I said in the previous video, it has a higher CFM and pressure rating than what uh, is called for for the tube, uh, the 3CX6000A7 tube for its maximum dissipation at uh, the, the uh, intake temp that they list in the specification. So you would never end up having that. So, the, you know, they go by like 100 something, I forget, 120 or so degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, he would, it would never be that hot, but it doesn't hurt to have more blower than he needs. So uh, with the cooler temp, since, since he's going to have a cooler uh, ambient temp, uh, he wouldn't need uh, the, the specifications that they list. But like I said, it doesn't hurt to have more blower than you really need. So, okay, I'm going to place this on top and I'll show you it installed. Be right back. Okay, so I have it on top of the cabinet. You can see this thing does not move whatsoever. And I didn't uh, mention before, but 
you can see I drilled all of the perimeter holes and I used the stock cover for a template so this is good so, next thing will be putting the connector on that cable and running the filament leads out of the back of the amp and uh, the be positive connection in and the, you know the SOW cable that runs the stuff you know that has the grounds and the two hots and the B negative going up to the top bar of deck so stay tuned I will be back thanks for watching website amprepairguy.com 203-892-4119 like I said I've been super super busy here and builds are secondary over repairs but I will get this done very very soon and you guys will see some lots and want to point out I also filed down the corners here because they can be very sharp and I filed the, the edges of the hole so everything smoothed out and I cleaned up the holes where I drilled all holes so they're nice and uh, flush everything's flush no nothing uh, sticking out okay so thanks for watching have a great day 73.